Hello everybody, it's I, the Luigi Big Mac, and welcome back, er, welcome back, <laughs> welcome to a brand new Let's Play. Uh, this time we're going to be doing Portal 2, a very, a very, a very, very good Valve game. Uh, this might, this might only be the Valve game, this is probably the only Valve game you might see me play. Not because I don't have anything against Valve, but, uh, I never, never really been uh, the original... The first two Half Lifes. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to go through playing the first two Half Lifes. Not saying they're bad games or anything, but uh, never, never really messed with Half Life too well. Uh, Team Fortress Two doesn't have any story mode bits to it, so uh, boo. And the reason why I'm doing two instead of instead of the first Portal is that two has an actual like single player campaign that has that story driven. Portal One. Uh, doesn't really have a story. Like it's almost like it's almost like Portal Two having a story was an afterthought, a very good after that afterthought, mind you. But yeah, the original Portal didn't really have too much of a story to it. So uh, that's the whole reason why I'm doing Portal Two. With that being said, let's uh, let's start, shall we? Also, as you may tell, I obviously beat the game. For also, yes, I have subtitles on, so that means I can. That means I can talk over the. Uh, that means I can. That means I can talk over the. Uh, I can talk over the uh, dialogue, and you people can still still know what he's talking about. I'm gonna look down. Fine, I'll look up briefly. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. I feel like one of those spin botters from TF2. And yes, that's currently that's still currently going on at the time of this recording. It's 2024, and, and Valve still has... And it's 2024, and Valve still has yet to uh, fix the TF2 bot problem. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the arc. No. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this. In all seriousness, this is this is too bland. Ooh, classical music. Ah, oh, I was listening to that. Now, please return to your bed. Boo. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. Hello? Anyone in there? Hello? Are you gonna open the door? Any time? Uh, no, because if I don't open the door, then the events of the game won't happen. And I know what happens at the, uh, well, I know what happens, uh, in the game, so I'm just gonna do nothing. Well, just open the door! Hello, friend! Why not open the door? No. Could be Spanish, could be Spanish. Hola, amigo! Abre la puerta. Donde esta... No, um... Fine. No, fine. absolutely fine. It's not like I don't have, you know, 10,000 other test subjects begging me to help them escape. You know, it's not like this place is about to explode. All right, look, okay, I'll be honest. You're the last test subject left, and if you don't help me, we're both going to die. All right, I didn't want to say it. There you go. You've dragged it out of me. All right, dead. Dos muerte. <laughs> Uh, I'll still think about it. Hello? Hello? <laughs> I want to see how long this is going to go for. Open the door! Hello? Oh, is it just going to loop now? Hello? Okay, yeah, it's going to just... You're just going to loop now. Ah! Oh, God. How are you able to knock with no arms there, Wheatley? Looking good, actually. Are you okay? Are, are you... Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Slow. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I'm gonna get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. That's I'm. It. I'm just. I'm just going to ignore that advice because I would rather not be hanging on to something. Oh, jeez. No, oh, dear. The chair exploded. Right down there. Can you hear me? Hello. I would rather be deaf. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under 
for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. Brain damage? But That's good. Alarmed, all right. Uh, although if you do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Uh, Wheelie, I hate to tell you this, but I'm. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. Dude, I already told you. I'm. I am a. Simple word. Apple. Just say apple. Classic. Very simple. I there. Okay, I told there. Just there. I said. I said apple. Also, I hope you guys got the joke there. Are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Oh, oh, gee, oh, gee, that's a whole. Oh, God, oh, hey, look, dear. I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. Ah, jeez. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? <laughs> How's this? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subject. You know, you know, I want to use this time to actually look oh, around the the, the the map here because I. I didn't really pay attention to it too much while playing through the game uh, the first few times. Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Oh, right, you're British. Ew, British. It's almost like I'm not. It's almost It's almost like I'm not bloody uh, British there, eh, mate? Actually, that might be more Australian than British. Ah, jeez. How's this room staying up, by the way? Like, come on. Like, look, look at this. Okay, listen. We should get our story straight. All right. If anyone asks, and no one's gonna ask, don't worry. But if anyone asks, no, if I had a boil gun, I could totally just get know, down there. The last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. All right, not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Don't tell me you're going to ram into that wall. Ah. Wheatley, you. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery. Story. Ah, geez, you're going to go for uh, it again, I'm aren't you? A manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Ah. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes, not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Ah, and there. Ah, uh, there we go. <clears throat> there we go. Now, I'll be honest. You are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet, but um, at least you're a good jumper. So, Are you uh, seriously uh, undermining uh, my abilities uh, that much just there? Rest and I'll meet you up ahead. Uh, That's the spirit. <sighs> anyway, I hope you guys remember. Hello, and again, welcome to the. I, I hope you guys Science remember Science what this room is. If you played the original Portal. Experiencing technical difficulties. Oh yeah, so pick it up. Uh, portal test. Oh hey, you can zoom in on this. Cool. However, Let's see, uh, portal test uh, sequence, uh, do not remove the testing area, uh, blocks, throwing blocks at people, uh, portals, cake. I like cake. It's so delicious and moist. I'm taking this radio with me. Also, Yep, that's that's me right there. Uh, using telekinesis to hold this uh, radio. Unfortunately, you cannot throw objects like you can in uh, like you could in uh, Half Life. Ugh. Oh, that door is kind of busted there. No, oh, my radio. Damn you, Aperture Science! Boo! Ah, bloody hell. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. 
simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Well, that's great. That's good to know. Anyway, test number one there. Uh, boop. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can, I can speed run this whole thing. And then, uh, uh, press this funny button there. I don't remember if, if it's possible to lock yourself out in this room. Uh, I'm just, I'm not going to worry about it too, too much. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, Please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. Oh, great. Society's uh, done. That's good to know. You know, I kind of hate society right now. Everything, everything, is, everything's afflated to hell and back. Uh, people on Twitter are thinking or speaking out their asses rather than using their brains. Also, speaking of which, I remember seeing someone on Twitter say that uh, Portal 2 is actually a bad game because it for heavily forces uh, 2012 era humor uh, too much. Where do you think 2012 humor came from? God, God. Like, I know people on the internet are dumb. But Twitter is... But let me put it this way. Reddit is where you get a lot of smart guys. Uh, 4chan especially. I You definitely see a lot of... Uh, uh, smart guys, and then you got Twitter, which is where all the uh, where all the brain dead people go. Yeah, ready then. Hey, you made it. You. Yeah, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. Oh! <laughs> Hello. Can you see the portal gun? I do not see the portal so gun, Wheatley. Hey, ready. Well, we have a portal gun now. Only the blue one, though. Uh, ooh, what's this right here? Uh, some crew drawings. Uh, that's a that's our uh, companion cube. Uh, hey, that's us. Cake. Our our companion cube. And her. We'll get to her eventually. Anyway, enough of this stuff. Let's uh, move the one out of here. Let's see. I forget if we're supposed to go through here or not. I'm. I'm gonna say maybe. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots to share. Okay. Right. Okay. There we go. Wait. Wait. wait I want to pull a uh, false uh, guilty gear third. Good. There we go. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future ah, there goes all that stuff. An associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. <laughs> God, my nose is stuffy. Ugh. Ugh. Sorry, sorry, I had to hear that, folks. Ugh. It's like January, this so. This is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. <laughs> oh, yes, that's sax mode. Also, fuck that camera. Oh, I was listening to that. Well done. Well, give me, well, give me this uh, cube here. Oh, yeah, there's no way I can cheese my way out of this one, huh? No, oh, yeah, this one's a, this one's a classic. Good. 
there's like another cube somewhere. Yep, sure enough, there it is. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Well then, so much for that. Uh, I'm gonna go up here instead. On reason. Oh sh wait, what? How is that possible? All right, all right. I'm not gonna question it. Alrighty. I always, I always like spamming the uh, the portal gun when, as you uh, go into a loading zone. If the enrichment center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid space. unsheltered so much space. areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Well then, uh, we Alrighty then. Oh, I can't. Oh, they wised up from the previous games. So in the previous game, there's definitely there was 100 percent achievement you could do where, uh, well, Glados would get uh, kind of pissy at you uh, for destroying the, for removing the cameras. There it is. And just like that. Oh, right. Uh, You just uh, push that. There we go. Chew on that game. I mean, I would say chew on that Galados, but uh, who's this Galados? I never meant this Galados. Oh wait, actually, I think we killed her last time. You are not alone. All aperture science personality constructs will remain functional. Maybe I, I don't remember anymore. I, I, I don't. I don't know if you guys don't remember, but I have brain damage. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. Fuck your camera. Think of this with me. Well then. Oh, I see now already then. Hooray, physics! All right then. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. I guess. Also, get the get the camera out of here. There we go. Ah, I see. Well, let's place that there and see where that takes us. Woohoo! Ow! Oh! Well then. Uh... Oh, we have to figure out how to get somewhere. Oh, I see. There we go. Yep. And then... Let me just put that more towards the middle. There we go. Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, 
If you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. Glad, glad, glad to know they uh, let the dialogue finish before we head to a loading zone. Also, I was up, oh yeah, foul. I, I have to, I'm a sucker for Valve's uh, physics when it comes to sword and through the air. It's kind of the reason why I love uh, sticky jumping. You. Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun. Oh, the, do you know what? It just goes to show, people with brain damage are the real heroes. In the end, aren't they? At the end of the day, brave. Pop a portal on that wall behind me there, and I'll meet you on the other side of the room. Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail or I would die. But we're out of options here. So get ready to catch me, all right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? One. Two. Two. Three. That's high. It's it's too high, isn't it? Really. You Matt? coward. Going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Catch me, catch me. Ow. Ow. <laughs> I am not dead. I'm not dead. <laughs> <laughs> I purposely <laughs> made you file fall. And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. There we go. Um, yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. <laughs> Seriously, I'm not. I'm not joking. Can you just turn around for a second? Yeah, 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 I'm turning around. Alright, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. I open while your back was turned. And off we go. Look at this! No rail to tell us where to go. Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Oh, I can't drop them off. Oh, Boo! Hang on, let me just Screw you, down. game. Just follow the rail, actually. Yeah, and, and there's... And... Fun fact, there's no cross jumping here. Oh no. Yes, hello, no, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact, whatever you do. No, thanks, we're good. <laughs> Appreciate it. Keep moving, keep moving. <laughs> Actually, what happens if I. Okay. We, we're gonna just walk through that. I, 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 was, I was really hoping we could just start blasting Wheatley. Ugh. Yeah, here on this, here on this Let's Play, uh, folks, we're gonna be bullying Wheatley a lot. You def for those of you who never played this game, you'll definitely understand why, but uh in order to escape, we're gonna have to go through her chamber. And she will probably kill us if if she's um awake. If you wanna just call it quits, and we could just sit here forever. That's an option. Option A, sit here, do nothing. Option B, go through there, and if she's alive, she'll almost certainly kill us. Okay, I'm gonna lay my cards on the table. Yeah, I yeah. There. I don't wanna go in there. Don't don't go in there. She, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. Oh my god. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper maniac. Yep, we all. Yep. Yep, we all do that. Yep. Can I? Can I drop you? Can I drop you in the incinerator? I know. I know. I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently, this human escaped, and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened, and then there's us escaping now. So um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. Oh, still held, still being held. That's a great job. You've applied the grit. We're all fine. That's yep. tremendous. All right. Is there anything? Ah, I just sorry. I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah, I've done uh, it again. <laughs> Fuck you, Wheatley. You know, I'm afraid of fights, but at least I know this is a video game. If this was VR, I would totally just grab you, just chuck you off. God, what a dick. This is the main breaker room. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't even, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But as soon as you That's look at something, it doesn't say escape pod. Well, look at something else. Look at the next thing. All right, but don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, I mean, I don't see it anywhere. Lock me in and I'll turn the lights on. Hey, ready then. Ah, oh, jeez, I can't, I can't leave. Well, That's, fuck. Uh, God is quoting God. Oh, look at that. Turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now. Escape pod, escape pod. 
It's, it's moving up. Okay. Ah, jeez. No, ah, wait, the you dumbass. Power up initiated. Ah, jeez. Okay. No, 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 no. Let me out. Let me out. Ah, jeez. Oh no. Oh, oh, ah, oh, jeez. Uh, hi! Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. Yeah, certainly. How have you been? Uh, I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? Uh, oh, no! No, 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 no! Oh, no, 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 no! Okay, look. We both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. Wheatley said? Okay, Besides, good. I kind of I kind of didn't like him anyway. You know, we'll say you know, you... since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really Oh, uh, gee, that's incineration hole, oh, ain't it? I love it too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. <laughs> You know, compared, you know, if I had an option between Wheatley and Glados, I would much rather have Glados because at least she's at least she's sarcastic, and I and I love, and I love having someone sassy and sarcastic with me. Oh, good, oh, good thing I didn't get squished. Here we are, the incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me. They didn't get completely burned when you threw them Oh out. shit, I can actually fall off. <laughs> dual portal device should Okay. I wasn't I was not sure if you were able to fall off or not. Uh well good news folks. Well good news folks, uh this isn't uh idiot proof. They didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Ow. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like all time. Up, up the poor turrets. Well then, oh there, there it is. is. Hold on. There, good. There we go. You have a dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. And just like that, there we go. Starts. I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Here, let me get that for you. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again. Forever. Excellent. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. Oh After fuck! All, I didn't realize they could probably with the camera. To do, and only sixty more years to do it, more or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me, but the important thing is you're back with me, and now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing ah, for the geez. rest of your life. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby, reanimating the dead, maybe. Oh, you're just gonna. <laughs> I mean, I'm not surprised that she's vindictive. We did kill her, and revive her, and we're probably gonna try and kill her again. So, uh, <laughs> you know, you know, it's a love and hate relationship here, um, me and Galanos, You know. Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Orgasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with, with deadly, deadly lasers. lasers. Yep, yeah, up, uh, yep, yeah, that, that is totally a deadly laser right there. Uh, up. We're just gonna walk over, going over here real quick and uh, pop. 
Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I mean, like, I may be an idiot and I may be a bit clever, you know, but uh, I think I think this is a bit uh, overboard, don't you think, dear Glados? Well then. This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. Well, oop, there the, should be one I in the th corner. There we go. Uh, okay, fuck your camera. And just like that. Okay, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. And then wanna do Excellent, there we go. Pretty sure I'm gonna well yep. done. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. <laughs> we weren't even testing for that. Uh, gotta, gotta, gotta love GLaDOS. Easily one of the funniest parts of this game. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better... Science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Okay, I think that's a bit... I think that's a bit harsh even for you, uh, GLaDOS. There we go. All right then. Uh... All right. If that's the first thing, and then uh, we do. Let's say we do uh, that. So uh... we should probably do that. Then uh, put you right here. Congratulations. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. <laughs> yeah, this this portion of the game is just GLaDOS uh, insulting us. One moment. I mean, like, at least she's nice enough. Getting these test chambers faster than I can build them, so feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. Uh. Well, let's see. Well, first thing first, I'm gonna have to grab a cube here. Uh, thank you. Here. I'm just gonna move around here real quick. I guess you are listening to me. And for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Waddle over to the elevator and we'll continue the testing. Uh, okay, you know, you know, Glados. I, th I think your judgment there was a bit uh, uncalled for. I, I, I went a lot faster. Than what most people would have done on that chamber if they were playing for the first time. Oh, 
Oh, look, a bunch of cubes. And there goes all the cubes. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Got it. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. I mean, at least air, at least you don't taste air. At least I hope not. I mean, maybe, 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 maybe if it gets, uh, maybe, maybe if the gas gets turned into, gets turned into water. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Yeah. Boink. Boink. I am so cool. All right, we are going to push this button oh, here. Sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers. So sometimes there's still trash in them, standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. Hey, I, hey, I saved this guy. Me? Okay. He's still not gonna kill me. <laughs> he's he's a friend. And then we can just put that there. And just like that, there Remember we go. Before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless, that was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head, which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second <laughs> time just now. Uh, anyways. No! Friend! <laughs> Damn it. That was so much for having a friend with me. Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noise? <laughs> that that would have been I'm it, it would have worked. I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. Uh, anyway, anyway, I don't know why. Uh... Oh, did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test? I'm sorry. Go ahead and grab another one. Oh, no. I fizzled that one, too. God damn it, Glado. Stop being a oh, troll. Well. We have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. Oh, hi, Wheatley. Bye, Wheatley. Wait, Wheatley! The fuck are you doing in life, asshole? Uh, anyway, we're just gonna do that. And then, uh... I have to be somewhere else a bit more. Well, first thing first. Just like that. And then we're going to have to do the same thing. Just over here. And there we go. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle Actually, test on. objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. Oh, oh, you know, oh, you know, I'm gonna try and take something with me. Uh, 
Screw, screw you, GLaDOS. I think that one was about to say, I love you. And they are sentient, of course. We just have a lot of them. Uh. Oh, damn it, GLaDOS. God, you have to ruin the fun for me, huh? Well, then. This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, uh. I told you about them in the last test area, but did not have one. Well, then, uh, we have... Oh, no. The turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. And the fucking fucking then I can't get this as can. There. If you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. Alright, well, uh, we're gonna... Do that. And then I just do that. Then I just have to go through this hole here. Alright, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to. Because if, cause if I go through that, that's gonna. Oh, wait a minute, I see now. I see, I see now. Alright, just uh, put that here, grab that. And there we go. That's that's the actual solution we had to go for. Uh, I hope those are just turrets that are uh, blasting away and not alien invasions. Oh, we're already at chapter three already, huh? You know what? I'm going to cut off the episode here. Because why 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 start another uh why start another uh test if uh if I can just end off the episode here. So this is one so uh yeah, so I'll just do that. So if you guys enjoyed the content I did, please consider subscribing as I as I really really appreciate it. Uh you know, I hope the channel grow. Maybe even comment and like. Uh, the video as well so this video can get pushed on the youtube algorithm and with that being said i'll see you guys in the next episode where we're going to be well suffering under uh, uh glados's tests and insults until then i'll see you guys in the next episode Buh -buh. <laughs>